What's up, folks? Glad you could come by. Um, if you're new to the channel, this is Largemouth Lunkin. Um, if you've been here before, again, welcome back. Got an opportunity to get off of work a few hours early, so making my way out here to uh, Spot X. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at it. It's a lot calmer than it's been. The wind's been whipping through here. Central California has some serious winds. So 24 miles an hour, pushing up current, um, just making the fishing tough. So we're gonna get out here today because it seems like a better day. And I'm glad you guys are here to join me. What I'm gonna be getting into is the drop shot, kind of with a different um, adaptation to it. I've been losing a lot of pencil weights, so I'm gonna go ahead and strap on a bullet weight at the bottom, a one eighth bullet weight. Just tie that on. Let me see if I have those here. I hope I do. Bag of one eighths. So these are just simple one eighths. And I'm gonna tie those on the bottom to act as my my weight and see how that goes. So I'm gonna get that tied on and we're gonna get started working the drop shot first. So let's check it out. I'll be tying my drop shot to my medium light setup. I do that to try to get the most uh, sensitivity. On this one currently, I have 10 pound braid and six pound test fluoro as a leader all right so i got my rig set up i got my size one hook polymer knot and then you know a few simple overhand knots i try to keep the knot at the top up here so that it could bob and bounce and hopefully keep itself out of danger i want to try a new worm today Bold bluegill. This is a new color. Robo worm. I like using robo worms for drop shotting. But check this worm out. Brown. It's got kind of a bluish pattern in the middle, and then that green on the bottom. So I hope that can draw them out. So let's talk about the drop shot a little bit. So on a lot of my videos, you've seen me using the drop shot couple reasons for that uh, I've been filming for a while but I wasn't that good at the editing so when I started fishing last year in June I was heavy on the crankbaits I was heavy on the chatter baits I was heavy on the square bills a uh, reason being as I got my start like watching YouTube, trying to figure out, you know, how to catch bass, how to become a better angler. Those were some of the suggested baits. A lot of the waters around here were muddy, really muddy, murky water. Right now, this is a very stained water where it is darker, yes. I can look down in here, I can see the rocks, I can see a couple of things. So, this is a heavily stained water, whereas what we were facing last year, and most of the waters around here, was a very murky, muddy, milk chocolate water. So I had things, loud sound, a lot of vibration, pushing around a lot of water. As the seasons progressed, uh-oh, don't tell me I'm already about to lose this rig. So, as the seasons progressed, as I made my way over here, I don't think I started uh, fishing this spot until about October. All right. So I didn't start fishing this spot till about October. And when I made my way over here, it was muddy. I had caught fish in other portions of this waterway, but I hadn't made my way over here. So when I got over here, it was very muddy. 
wind conditions kind of like you see now, little ripples on the water. So it fell in line with what I was uh, fishing, but these fish here responded to other baits as I've seen from other fishermen. Spinner baits, lipless crank baits, of which I also threw. The clearest waterway I'd fished was Los Gatos Creek Reservoir. That one had remained clear. Currently it's got some algae and some other stuff going on. But as the times went on, we had somebody show up here, and I'll just say David C, not to give out his whole name, because I don't know how he feels about the whole situation. I'm the one that's on YouTube. So he came over here with a Ned rig and did extremely well. So I got introduced to the Ned rig, which really got me introduced to finesse fishing, the drop shot. So the drop shot was something I seen as effective that got bites. And so I want to learn how to master these finesse techniques as well as my power fishing crankbait techniques. Um, they've proved really helpful, although I do feel that I have a ways to go in kind of perfecting them at times. So when to throw them, how to dance them, and just how to get that bite when the bite's tough. This area is heavily fished, that's why I call it Spot X. While I enjoy fishing, I enjoy talking about fishing, and I wish fishing success to all my viewers. A lot of the locals here really didn't want their spot revealed, and I understand why. It's a nice population of bass here, once people find out about it, there's already, there's already been a bit of an increase and a lot of bass have gotten taken out of here. Um, it has reduced the population some. going spinner bait. So this is a Booyah spinner bait, double Colorado. It's got the gold leaf for the tent. Let's see what we can do out here. Oh man, I had one and it got off. I didn't have my drag set right. Man, that hurts. Pulled that one up to the boat. And I've got an idea. So let's get going. What's up guys? A little location change. Want to try something different. This water is moving a lot faster than I wanted to. Please pardon the dogs. Just want to see if this water was moving too fast. I think it just might be.
So I'm trying to fish it over that grass, but there's just too much current, too much wind. There's been a lot of current lately. So then I try to get on the side here, see if there's any bass clinging to the shore. What's up, switch locations. But I see now other people have been here. Let's look how well this is put together. All right, I'm gonna try a different frog out here. It's moving, I might need more noise. It's black, it's getting a little darker. It may be a little bit more visible. And we're gonna see what we can come up with. So this, let's try this. see what we got here this is off the black frog bite Woo! so let me see where's he hooked he's hooked good through the bottom lip there we go so using the black frog we got this one here go I knew this spot would pay off out here I just had to drag him through the slop a little bit 